Let's use Asuna instead. And it doesn't remove float, by the way. But we have a Grand Helm. Hmm, that's cool. Alrighty. Um, I think we can go back to this now. I'm just curious, did it have anything else to steal? Okay. Girl turtle. Yeah, absorbs everything other nice. Immune to holy. Type undead? Really? Whoa. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Also, I'm not sure how that works. It says steel is high potion, but we stole a turtle shell, no? Anyway. Let's keep going. Is this like B3 now? Holy shit. Just goes deeper and deeper. I guess this is like one of the first places I've properly tried to go down, so I might as well do that. But it might be even more difficult stuff here. Let's see. No, it's the same guys. Everyone just floating along. Let me see if I can osmos these guys. Of course not. Why would we be able to do something silly like that? Quickly head back for that chest over there. But you can see so far it's looking much like um, it's looking much like Final Fantasy VI. In the sense that this extra GBA content is definitely pretty meaty. I mean you've got DLCs these days that last like 90 minutes and then you've got this as like basically DLC. It's huge. Just try it anyway. Nope. But yeah, I mean, rapid fire plus the bow is, is working pretty well so far. Well, this specific bow. It's like a nice 7,000 damage right there. Ah, come on now. D no. 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 I literally took three steps. That's that's bullshit. But I feel like all the encounters here, they're of the type where you can't really do this that much. So, yeah. I got there, but you can tell. like They're not going to want you doing that too much. Okay. That was a pretty shitty find. Aha. Uh -huh, it's the movers. Move. Get him! This would be huge if I could manage this. I wonder if you can, like, use stop on them or something. Still hoping being able to control them will make a difference somehow, but I guess rapid fire now is not gonna not gonna do it. Come on, let me get the red let me get the black magic. Get him! I wonder if it's worth trying the finisher. Ugh, I don't know. 
This is the one where you need like dual black mages or something, or like a summoner to do massive damage. Oh, we did it. 200,000 girl. Well, you get more and more every time. What the freak? ABP up. Yes. And look at how close we are to learning dual cast. So the movers are really, really getting us moving. And now we have ABP up. One and a half times the ABP per battle. Honestly, with the movers and stuff, I don't think I really need that right now. But for another job, uh, for now, because she's using control, we'll keep things as it is. But yeah, these guys are doing well now. Um... Uh, Powerful strike that whenever hits an enemy, attacks his weak point for massive damage. Are you kidding me? The Gill Turtle literally had Frost as a weakness, and we healed it. What the f I guess maybe if it absorbs other elements, that overpowers it or something. I don't know. But a bit weird. Okay, these guys are starting to get a bit annoying now. Because they don't really do anything either, they're not much of a threat, but at least when there was two of them before, it was, it was fairly easy to kill as well. I want to try and mug again for an ether, so... Honestly, at this stage it feels like ethers are kind of redundant, but... Can also Osmos. There you go. That was much needed. Ah. Again, I wonder what the percentage rate of it is, but. I want to try and get another Osmos here. Yep. Looking much better now. It feels like maybe 50-50 or so at the moment that this works. And when it does work, it, it works. Legit. There you go. So at least it's fruitful, but... Rapid fire. Yes. Okay. That's another one mastered. Um, let's keep trying the new ones. We've got Oracle, Cannoneer, Gladiator. We had Necromancer, didn't we? Didn't we? Do I remember that wrong? Okay. So we have Cannoneer. Tinkerers with the know-how to combine items into weapons both beautiful and destructive. Why don't we... Why don't we give that a go for Faris? I mean, at the moment, she's mastered Knight, Thief, Ninja, Ranger. Time Mage is at level 6, but is it, like, super-duper important? Let's just try a Cannoneer, man. <laughs> Again, the outfit's pretty cool. Open Fire. Um... Maybe we can still dual wield and do something cool here. Ah. Okay, we'll give this a go and just see what happens. 2000 HP is pretty cool at least. Stingray. Okay, well that's new, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Open fire. Okay. I couldn't even select what to open fire with. 
Couldn't we, like, buy different types of bullets from that guy? 93. 30,000. Blinded by darkness. Whoa. At least I can control it. That's something. Um... Now that we have it under control, let's just take a second to have a look. I don't really know what it's weak to. Let's just give the give it the old faithful. Yeah, my guess is that stingrays don't like fire. Oh, there it is, mighty god! Shit. Okay. Ah. Of course, I don't have any learning or anything like that, but finally, after 50 hours, I get to see Mighty God. That's cool. Yeah, I need that. I need it! It's nice to finally see. Um, I'm going to wait a little longer before I go on the attack. Okay, my assumption is that this is going to heal it, but let's just see it anyway. Yeah, so Thundaga doesn't do any more damage than fire, unfortunately. Five thousand eight hundred, of course, it's a massive heal. Let's just do battle here, screw it. Let's get on with it. So that wipes away all of that healing that it did, at least. Beefy 7,000 damage. Oh wow, that's not great. Um, but yeah, that tidal wave, if it hits us, obviously we could be in trouble too. But I don't know if um, flying kind of helps us with that. Yeah, it's immune to doom. And I'm worried that if I use Finisher, it's going to do something stupid and heal it for quad 9. So I'm just going to keep going with this. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure Cannony is going to be the one for me, I think. Either, again, it's going to have some really, like, niche um, kind of thing, but... But yeah, we're seeing some solid HP here, like random encounters that are sort of mini bosses that have the 20, 30,000 kind of level. That's that's what I want to be seeing. 20 AVP. And dual cast. Wow. Wow. Okay. That was a big one for, for her to learn. Now... I mean, does dual cast mean like any black or white spell, or is it just two spells? Okay, I tried to be cheeky there, maybe get away with that, but no. Um, now. There is, of course, the old freelancer, but I feel like I really want to sort of get towards the end before I do any of that stuff. I didn't think I'd be able to master this one in the playthrough, but those movers... And the magic urns, like collectively, they've got me over like a thousand ABP, so they've made a big difference. Um, just thinking in terms of stuff to learn, I'm not really sure what's left. Let me have a look at my little list again. Is there anything I want from here? Um, so far, we don't have any lava floors. I don't know if we will. If that's the case, the Geomancer can, can help with that. But Honestly, there's not that much left, I think. Of course, there's niche stuff. Like, let's say with the Bard, there's a particular like song that you can use that's useful for a particular battle. But I don't know. It's not the kind of thing that I like using. If it's super necessary, then yes, I will. But honestly, for now that the... The, st the stingrays around, I'm just going to have a blue mage for a bit. Now, can I dual cast blue magic? 
My assumption is I can. Let's let's have a look at that too. Stick with a gold hairpin still. Okay. I'm not sure I like the cannoneer. I don't know if I'm going to carry on with it. Um, kind of feels a bit limited. I think I might just master time mage here. Okay, we'll mix it up a bit like this. Uh, again, we're just trying to continue to sort of master more jobs as we go along. And of course I want to learn uh, Mighty Guard too. So now I'm hoping we do encounter another Stingray. I want to see how rapid fire works with the mage. Hmm, not sure why she misses every time. She's got a judgment rod, but let's have a look. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. What's the deal with that? So you can dual cast... Uh... Okay, so you can dual cast up to level 3 spells for white and black is my guess. And if you want to dual cast any more than that, you have to have the job to start with, I guess. That's what I think is the deal. So let's see how that works. And what's the counter now? It's 7. Okay, that's much quicker. Yeah, because those level 3 spells are just not going not gonna to do much for me. I want to see the finish of the countdown. I don't think we've had a countdown finish yet for Condemn. Let's see if Rapid Fire will always miss. I think with this rod it always misses. I don't think it works with rods, maybe. It's just one of those. That sucks. Yeah, obviously right now attacking me, I'm much, I am weaker, but I just, I want that blue mage because of Mighty Guard. It's just too, for me, it's too important an ability. Being able to get buffs back that easily. Oh, there you go. One of them did hit. So just unlikely to hit. I don't know what the deal is with that. We need to we need to speed things up here. Okay, so rapid fire is not working too great for us. I'm still going to equip a bow. To be honest, my strength is still pretty good. Why not? Yeah, I mean, that's still perfectly serviceable. So I think she still works pretty pretty fine. It's not like rangers are super strong. So we'll carry on with that. At least she'll be a physical threat still. But you can see there's no save spheres around anywhere, pretty much. Yeah, okay. Maybe finisher isn't 50 50. Yeah, that's still, <laughs> that's still perfectly fine damage. Um, but yeah, dual cast wise, I don't think. This stuff, I don't think, is really good enough. Oh, so I guess if there's like a smaller rate of it happening, you can dual cast it to obviously double up on the chance of it working. So at this stage, most of what I'm facing, I can I can deal with. So I'm just kind of checking it out. So I think Doom does work against those guys. There 
you go. Long reach. Hmm. Well. No prizes for guessing what long reach does. But let's just see it here anyway. Attack enemies are full power for the macro, no matter the weapon. Nice. I think what we will do is we'll try a different weapon with him, something we've never seen before. Um, like the axe, for example. Titan's axe. That seems pretty cool. Yeah, I think axe is like the main one that we haven't seen. I think once or twice I used a Dragoon. I didn't use it that much, but... Just something different for you guys to see. Um, let's just put in front row so we can benefit from rapid fire still. Sea Devil, huh? I'm going to speed up here just in case. Um, Breathwing could get annoying. There you go. That worked. So I guess I didn't need to do that much. Yeah, we just can't do that much magical damage with the with a blue mage, unfortunately. You can always try quick stuff like that. There you go, this is the axe for the first time. Definitely not as good. But it does seem like that Stingray is a pretty rare encounter. I don't think I'm going to find it very frequently. But now that I've seen it, I feel like I kind of have to. And I have to keep the Blue Mage around until that happens. So We'll keep waiting. Dual cast is not helping me at all at the moment. I'd rather just go to Black Magic, I think, so I can Osmos when needed. So that might be the final boss of this area, potentially. Uh, this is not good. Yep. Wow. Sheesh. Um, let me let me return this one. Yeah, you can see the axe is not doing great for me. Yeah, this is a this is a healthier start. Let's use some meteor anyway. It's been a while. And maybe we get lucky with rapid fire again. <laughs> okay. Um. So that should keep that one under control, but this one is just intent on using Zombie Breath at the moment. I don't think anyone got hit with it, to be honest. Come on. Yes. It seems to always hit Quad 9 whenever it does that. Yeah, I'm going to change back to UHU's bow. I think that, that does a better job. The axe is not that great.
Just keep trying these different abilities in case some of them stick. Mind is being drained, there you go. And it does decent damage, it did like 1,200 or something. That's not bad. Okay. So... Yeah, Titan's Axe, even though that seems to literally be like the best axe, it's not the best. Yeah, this is still my favorite thing, I think. We're gonna up the power a little bit more. We can push him back to the back row again. Fine. Right, these guys again. Should be able to take it out with the next hit. Yep. And I think I'll get some osmosis in once again. Nice. Wait, it survived? How? It must have like 5 HP left. Yeah. That's more like it. Right. Oh god. Yeah, finisher seems to work quite well against that one. It's just, it's just luck. Okay. At least we can start putting the pressure back on again with our mage. Great. That's a lot of damage as well, man. Um, I mean, it says became the living dead, but it seems like no one ever gets hit with it, so I don't know. Right. I don't know who that guy is. I don't like the look of him. Um, okay, I've set myself up for battle once again. Uh, gonna keep this one like this, go for blue and black, and go for white magic here as well, and see how we do against whoever this is. I should probably heal first, though. that'll probably help. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's see what's in store this time. This looks like it's gonna summon a dark ale or something. You're a long way from home, kiddies. You're scared? Some of the most evilly evil beings are sealed up in here, you know. Not running yet, huh? Well, if you want to get to where the real bad stuff is, you've got to prove yourselves to me first. So, to test your might, I want you to go out and catch me a strong monster, like, eh, uh, a behemoth. That'll do. Got it? I don't want you to kill it. Just capture it and bring it back here. Try checking the Titan's Grotto. It's crawling with behemoths. It's past the caves with the waterfalls. Whoa. Uh, okay, I didn't know about this. Titan's Grotto. So, that's what you gotta do. Uh, I have a mind to kind of teleport all the way out of here at this stage, because I don't think there's anything else for me to really do. And again, Titan's Grotto. Where the flip is that? How am I supposed to find that? So it seems like we've kind of hit a bit of a dead end here. And I have a mind to go out 
completely and then come back in from the start and see if I can go from a different route because I think this is the only place I can go to here I think that's what I'll do what, I can't teleport out of here no come on man really That's a bullshit. I hate stuff like that. Now, I guess the, the next best alternative is to equip smoke and run from everything that isn't... Um, that isn't going to be useful to me. Honestly, as long as I don't attack, the chicken knife is fine. At least if I encounter a Stingray, I can I can stick around. But it gets that nice preemptive strike because he's an asshole. Um, but yeah, for now, unless it's like movers or it's a Stingray, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure B3 is just a singular path. Okay, that did that did not take long. It was literally like two encounters later. That's good. We will have to win the battle eventually too, so I should still attack. Definitely not smoke. Now I bet you control's gonna fail. Okay, good. Literally after 50 hours. It's time for Mighty Guard. No! Oh, press the wrong button. It's weird, like, with everything, you have to kind of select which enemy you're going to do it on, but because Rapid Fire is four times random, as soon as you press it, it's, it's done. So, let's try this again. The 50-hour wait is going to have to wait another 20 seconds. Everyone just hold your chocobos. Let's just get this bloody move. Okay. Finally. I'm glad I got it in the end, though. I think especially with a gold hairpin, too, it should be pretty good. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, yeah, it hasn't appeared. It won't appear till the end of the, the thing. Honestly, I think that was probably like the most important thing I had left to learn as a blue mage. Like, I don't have every single ability, but. I think that was one of the main ones left. Still not dead. Just bash out a Meteor. Yeah, when Meteor hits, it hits, man. For 21 MP, that's really good damage. There you go. Mighty Guard. Always one of the most important blue mage spells. There it is. 72 MP, of course, but protect shell and float. So when you don't have a time mage, you can still get away with that as well. So that's also a nice bonus. Okay, now I can officially get out of here. <laughs>